It's time for lunch in Nairobi. How about trying the tilapia? Fish, fresh, delicious. But wait, fresh? How? We're a day's drive from Lake Victoria or Lake Turkana. This is where startup Keep It Cool is stepping in. From lake to plate, the startup is forming new business relationships with fisherfolk, forced by climate change to reimagine their livelihoods. Keep It Cool trains former livestock herders to fish and then helps transport that fish to hundreds of customers around Nairobi. Their transportation network of cold storage and iced delivery helps keep the fish fresh on the long journey. So we have uh, two cold rooms, a freezer and a chiller. Our freezer goes up to about uh, negative 20 degrees. So these are our fillets and our fish. Francis Nderitu is the company's 32-year-old founder and managing director. He dreamed of creating a company that would strengthen Kenya's fish value chain. Keep It Cool is a startup that is basically disrupting the white meat value chain by introducing cold chain access or unbreakable cold chain that has not been existent really in this space. Linking between supply and demand, we are reducing food wastage and post-harvest losses. You get to work with people from the lakeside, they teach you more about fish. Being in a position to solve their problem, that makes the work interesting and exciting at the same time. Keep It Cool received a grant from Good Food Innovation Fund, which is managed by Intellicap Advisory Services and supported by the Rockefeller Foundation. With those resources, Keep It Cool plans to expand into the underserved region of Lake Turkana, maintaining the company's planet-friendly approach. It's not just about uh, Keep It Cool, but also transitioning these vulnerable communities who have been adversely affected by climate change to transition now into looking at other uh, alternative sources of livelihoods. Our trucks are hybrid, and of course in the last mile, uh, we are using solar as the source of energy to cool the product as we distribute them to the customers. We have had about 51% savings in terms of carbon emissions from the lake to the plate compared to the traditional baseline of informal uh, distributors. One of these last mile stops in Nairobi is Orieko's fish supplies. Keep it cool has gained the business because uh, we used to use a lot of money with the other freezers that use electricity. And we save a lot. Beatrice operates as a fish wholesaler, creating opportunity for other community members to profit from the fish. Most of my customers are women. I know most of them, even where, where they stay. They are not only customers, they become friends, like a family now. I believe we can go far with the Keep It Cool, because uh, we started here, we can open another branch, then we do the same, we expand with them. Another Keep It Cool customer in Nairobi is a family-owned restaurant called A Little Chef. Tilapia, delivered by Keep It Cool, finally reaches the plate. The size of the fish is, is good, the freshness and the quality is perfect. And freezers leased from Keep It Cool keep fish fresher longer, reducing waste. And some units are solar powered. For the people of Kenya and the planet, Keep It Cool is leading the way with innovation and opportunity. We are using this also as a way to create livelihoods for us. We are putting in the effort to make sure that it works.